Well, hello, everybody. I've been asked to do an introduction for a guy named Jeff Rutter. He's been a guitar player and a singer since age 10. He's in a group called the Cry James, a well-known Chicago band for 20 plus, okay, 30 plus years. He's a music teacher and part-time wrestling coach with two sons in college, and he's a grandpa, but don't try anything, don't try anything. So whether you're watching this on your phone, or your laptop, or your iPad, or your computer, or your movie screen, or your TV, we're gonna have a little bit of fun, talk a little bit about rock and roll, and some fairy tales. So welcome, welcome to the librarians and the staff. Let's get the show started with some rock and roll. You guys ready? Okay, who knows what this is? It's a guitar. Yeah, who knows what this is? A microphone. Can you hear the microphone through the speakers? There are the speakers. Now, let me get this guitar cranking up. You guys ready? Ooh, that sounds pretty whippy, huh? Pretty, ooh, pretty whip. Wait a minute. What do we have here? Ah, we have a chord. Let's see if we can get this guitar cranking up. What do you say? You guys ready? Okay, here we go. Ooh, it sounds wimp wimpy. Wait a minute. Let me see if I can turn this knob here. Hang on. Oh, I think we got it now. I think I'm ready to try a song. sing the magic word sing I need you guys to all do this sha la 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 dee da and if you really want to embarrass your brother or sister or your mom or grandma you can sing really loud and sway back and forth and look like a twerp okay you ready to try it okay when I get the magic word sing you guys take over with that sha la 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 dee da are you ready? What? I can't hear you. Okay, here we go. Okay, wait for that magic word to sing. Do you remember when we used to sing? Sha la 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 Come on, shake back and forth. Sha la 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 Jeff Rutter, when do we get to do that groovy sing-along part again? Is that what you're thinking? I knew it. Well, look to that person to your left. Look to that person to your right. They're going to try to sing louder and act twerpier than you. 
You show them loud and twerpy, okay? Wait for their magic word to sing, and then you guys take over the sha la 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 Are you ready? I can't hear you. Are you ready? Okay, wait for the magic word to sing. Do you remember when we used to sing? Sha la 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 Okay, wait louder. Sha la 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 Okay, just the boys. Ready, boys? Sha la 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 Okay, girls, see if you can do it louder. Just some moms and librarians. Why well, welcome one and all. We're gonna have a little bit of fun. As you can see, as you can tell, my name is Jeff. And we're going to do some rock and roll, talk a little bit about fairy tales and fantasy. But first, I have a question. Does anyone know the small town I'm from called Chicago? Okay, it's not that small. But raise your hand if you'd like to go to museums and see big dinosaurs. Yeah, raise your hand if you'd like to go to aquariums and see really ugly fish. Raise your hand if you'd like to... Uh, Eat deep dish pizza. Yeah? Raise your hand if you'd like to go shopping and spend all your mom's money. Oh yeah, that works out good. Well, in a big city like Chicago, you can do all those cool things, but you gotta learn how to do them. So you know what I do when I wanna learn something? I walk into the library like this. Excuse me, I'm visiting the big city. Do you happen to have a book on the big city? And the librarians always look at me and go, wow, are you a twink? But guess what? You can find a book at the library on anything you want to learn anything about. You can read and learn, and whatever you're interested in, you can usually find a book on it. So ask that librarian if you want to learn something. Look how much I learned about deep dish pizza. Oh yeah, that's it. You know, you can hear my dogs barking. Maybe I'll show you the dogs in a while. I got three dogs. We'll show them to you in a while. But you can, you can tell them what you learned about deep dish pizza. And I'm always so happy when I eat deep dish pizza or read a book. I got a song about being happy. Can I do it for you? Okay, you guys gotta help me out, okay? If you're happy and you know it, give somebody a high five. If you're happy and you know it, give somebody a high five. If you're happy and you know it, then you really want to If you're happy and you know it, give somebody a high five. If you're happy and you know it, make a funny face. If you're happy and you know it, make a funny face. If you're happy and you know it, then you really want to show If you're happy and you know it, make a funny face. If you're happy and you know it, turn around in a circle. If you're happy and you know it, turn around in a square. If you're happy and you know it, then you really want to show. If you're happy and you know it, turn around in a triangle. If you're happy and you know it, bark like a dog. If you're happy and you know it, curl like a rooster. If you're happy and you know it, then you really want to show. If you're happy and you know it, roar like a tiger. If you're happy and you know it, meow like a little kitten. If you're happy and you know it, quack like a duck. If you're happy and you know it, then you really want to show. If you're happy and you know it, roar even louder like a Tyrannosaurus Rex. If you're happy and you know it, jump up and down. If you're happy and you know it, jump up and down. If you're happy and you know it, then you really want to show. If you're happy and you know it, jump up and down. If you're happy and you know it, yell real loud. If you're happy and you know it, yell even louder. If you're happy and you know it, then you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, whisper really quietly. Oh, I'm so quiet. If you're happy and you know it, everybody do a push-up. Go ahead, do it. There you go, come on. 
There you go, build those muscles. If you're happy and you know what, do another push-up. If you're happy and you know what, then you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know what, do another push-up. If you're happy and you know it, hug your neighbor. If you're happy and you know it, hug your neighbor. If you're happy and you know it, then you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, hug your neighbor. If you're happy and you know it, blow your parent or a librarian a kiss. If you're happy and you know it, blow somebody a kiss. If you're happy and you know it, then you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, blow somebody another kiss. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, keep clapping your hands. Isn't that fun? Okay, pretend you're home after school. Now this we're gonna get really serious. Pretend you're home after school and you older kids know. The first thing you do when you get home from school is finish up all that nasty homework, right? No? Okay, pretend you finished up all the homework. All your homework and you down to dust and twinkie. I mean to a couple boxes of Girl Scout cookies. I mean some fresh vegetables and fruit juice and you're thinking about getting out and playing Little Guitar Hero. But first, out of the corner of your ear, you hear a car coming up the road, but you don't hear the wheels or the tires or the motor or the engine, but you know it's a car because it sounds like this coming up the road. Listen. low notes called bass notes and they have big sound waves in fact remember this remember the the uh, fairy tale jack and the beanstalk well jack and the beanstalk went up and they found a giant and the giant said fee fi fo fum i smell the blood of an english mud he sang real low and talked real low like that used big sound waves so i'm going to sing a song by a guy that sang way down low See if anyone knows who sang this song back when rock and roll was invented. See if you know. Get a little wiggle in his lip like this. Wise men say Only fools rush or I can't help falling in love with And he put his arm out like this. Put your arm out like this. And shake it like that. And then wiggle your head and your lip like this. I will with you. Okay, raise your hand if you thought you know who, that, who sang that song. Oh yeah? You think you know? Okay, was his name Elvis Presley? Was it? Or was it Melvis Parsley? I don't know. But he sang down real low, and his name was Elvis Presley, you were right. And he sounded like the big giant fee fi fo fo from Jack and the Beanstalk. And now I'm gonna do a song. Anyone ever heard of the Three Little Pigs? Well, the Three Little Pigs they were stuck in their houses, and their, their famous phrase, anyone know the famous phrase, the three little pigs? Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. That's what the three little pigs said when the wolf came to blow their house down. And they, they didn't They didn't sing low. They didn't sing real high. They sang not by the hair of my chinny chin chin, right in the middle. So I'm gonna do a song. Anyone ever see the movie Shrek? Raise your hand if you ever saw Shrek. Well, this song was in that movie. And it's not low, it's not high, it's right in the middle. And it's called I'm a Believer. Teachers, if you know it, teachers and librarians and moms and dads, if you know the, the words, you can sing along. It goes like this. That 
That's all I know. Oh no, I know the rest of it, okay. But there's a part I need your help. I need you guys to sing this note. Ooh. Wanna try it? Ooh. Okay, your turn, really loud, okay? Ooh. Okay, I'll show you where their punch comes in. Because I'll start the song, it goes like this. but it's really water. Okay, now, anyone ever heard someone walk to a, up to a chalkboard? You walk up to a chalkboard and you take your nails and they scrape it on the chalkboard. Oh yeah. Or take a balloon and squeak it like that. Well, those are high notes called treble notes and they're way up high in pitch and sometimes they're beautiful in the light. And little too. And other times, they're just really irritating. So guess which way I'm gonna sing? Yep, irritating. In fact, this is by a boy band that sang like girls. In fact, they had a style of music they invented. Raise your hand if you ever heard of disco. You heard of disco? Well, now this is a song that and I need your help dancing. So everybody stand up. Come on, stand up. Come on, come on, stand up. Oh yeah, yeah. And everybody stand up and take your finger like this. Go up and down like that. Just like that. And take the other finger and go like this. Just like that. Yeah, there you go. Just like that. Yeah, and I'll sing like a girl. In fact, remember Chicken Little? Remember Chicken Little? The sky is falling, the sky is falling. Well, that's how this group sang. And they're called the Bee Gees, and the song is called Staying Alive. So everyone, take their finger. Come on, get it, get dancing, disco dancing. Don't stop now. Hey, moms. Moms, you should. 
show them how to do it. singing, wasn't it? And it sounded a little bit like Chicken Little. The sky is falling, the sky is falling. But it wasn't, it was the Bee Gees. So, guess what we're going to do now? We're going to do a little contest. Now, there's elements of music. I hear dogs barking. Maybe I'll bring the dogs out in a while. But this is an element of music called melody. And melody is a part of the music that you always go, ha, I know that song. I've heard it before, and I'm going to play a little song on guitar. We're going to have a guessing game, okay? See if you recognize this wildly popular song from a few months ago. It was so popular wherever you went, you heard it. You heard it on ringtones. You heard it in the mall. You'd hear your grandma singing it in the bathtub. But it was so popular that you'll recognize it, okay? Are you ready? Okay, as soon as you recognize it, I want you to sing it with me, okay? You'll know it. You know it? Oh, you want a couple more notes? Okay, here's a couple more notes. It's really popular a few months ago. Don't know it yet? Okay, I'll keep playing it. As soon as you recognize it from a couple months ago, you want to sing along, okay? See if you know it. You got it, you got it. Okay, let's see if you know this one. I'll play the melody. Is that called this old, yeah, this old man? Or knickknack, patty, yeah. And anyone, raise your hand if you know who the purple dinosaur that sang this song. You know it? Barney, sure. I love you, you love me, we're a happy family. Yeah, I knew you'd know it was Barney. Okay, let's see if you know this song, okay? Bitsy Spider. I knew you'd know it. Okay, now this next song is two songs with the same sound. Okay, let's see if you know this one. Yeah? What, you, what song do you think it is? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Oh no, it's not that song. Uh -uh. It's another song. Let's see if you know this one. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing? Did you know it? Yeah, I knew you'd 
know it. Now let's see if you know another song. Another guessing game song. Everyone put their hand over their heart. Just like that. Okay, see if you know it. You know what? It's called the National, yeah, National Anthem. Also, the Star Spangled Banner. Yeah, that's it. You guys got it. Okay, another song just for the teachers and the librarians and the moms and grandmas. I got sunshine on a cloudy day. Girl, I, I knew you'd know it. Now, okay, back to all you students and kids. Let's see if you know this song, okay? It's really a popular rock song. You know it? Oh, you want a couple more notes? Okay, I'll do a couple more notes, but as soon as you recognize it, Maybe I need a couple more notes. Okay. Anyone ever heard this song before? You did? You want to sing it? It's called Sweet Home Alabama. Come on, sing along with me. Ready? Sweet Home Alabama. Want to do it again? You knew all those cool songs. Yeah, good job, everybody. The dogs are barking. I can hear them. You guys want to see the dogs? Okay, I'm going to have my good buddy Dave get my wife and bring the dogs out here. Dave, grab Nora and bring the dogs out here, and I'll do another song. And it's a song by the Beatles. Anyone ever heard of the Beatles? Yeah, okay. Now, this song, I need your help. Because whenever I sing, you guys copy it and sing. So I'll go. And I'll say, shake it up, baby. And you guys go, shake it up, baby. You want to wanna try it? I hear the dogs. Maybe they'll come down. Shake it up. And you guys copy what I'm singing. And that's not even the best part. The best part is in the middle of the song, I need your help singing. Ah four times, and then screaming really loud. So, are you guys got the dogs up there? Come on, dogs. Come on. There's three Greyhound dogs. Hey, Dave. Yeah. Come down here and put the camera on the dogs if you would. Sure. Come here, Greyhound dogs. These are three Greyhound dogs we got from the racetrack. You like them. Okay, doggies, they like Dave. There's two of them, and here's another one. There's Leah and Gina and Joey. Or Leah, Joey, and Gina. Yeah, there's three of them. Yeah, you guys gonna wander around a little bit? Okay, you guys wanna sing? I guess they can hang around. Okay, make, make sure you copy what I sing, ready? Shake it up, baby. Shake it up, baby. Twist and shout. Twist and shout. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Work it out, out. Work it out. Twist, little girl. Twist so fine. Twist so fine. Twist a little closer. Twist a little closer. Let me know that you're mine. Sing the four eyes and then we'll scream really loud. Ready? Ready with the eyes? 
singing. And great job screaming too. Oh yeah, you guys got it. Now here is where the rock and roll show gets a little bit weird. I know, you're sitting back going, wow, it's already been really weird. There's dogs walking around. I know they don't allow dogs in the library unless you're seeing eye dogs. But these dogs see pretty good. So I'm going to show you something that makes your ears perk up. Not show you, make you hear something that makes your ears perk up. And these are called sound effects. And sound effects can be on the microphone and those speakers. In fact, see those speakers? Those speakers cost almost as much money as a bicycle. Yeah, they did. Probably as much as a good bicycle. And so when it was time for me to buy speakers, I had to learn about speakers. So you know what I do when I want to learn about anything? I go to the library and I got a book on speakers. And I read this book. I should return it. I probably owe a big fine. It's pretty old. But I learned about the science, the engineering, the electronics. I learned how to make them loud. I learned how to set them up. I learned, I read this book front to back, back to front. Read it upside down, read it in the bus, read it in the park. And because I'm a dad, I even read it in the bathroom. So I learned all about speakers. And I found speakers with built-in sound effects like this. Listen. Can you hear me now? I'm talking to you from the bottom of a garbage can. I sound like a wolf, don't I? Does it sound like an evil wolf? Remember the, remember the fairy tale Little Red Riding Hood? Or oh, remember there was a wolf? In fact, your grandpa asked him if he knows a song like this. Called Little Red Riding Hood. Hey there, Little Red Riding Hood. You sure are looking good. Well, yeah, you can't really sing that song nowadays. It's not really politically correct. But ask your grandpa, he'll know it too. Or your dad. Hey there, Little But It was a song about a woo. And also, there was a guy that sang with that same echoey sound on his voice. And I sang a song by Elvis before. And Elvis always had a lot of echo in his voice like this. And you know what? I can sing like Elvis. But I don't look like Elvis. That's why I'm going to teach you guys and girls how to sing and look like Elvis. Okay, the first thing you do is you stand up and you put your hand out like me. And you shake it. There. There you go. Now you shake your head like this. Yeah. And now you wiggle your lip a little like this. Yeah. There. Wiggle it like this. And shake your head. Look really sexy. I mean cool. Cool. I didn't say it. I meant cool. So there you go. Are you standing up? You shaking your arm? Shaking your head looking cool? And wiggling your lip like this? Okay. And when I sing the word hound dog, I want everyone to howl like a hound dog or wolf. Try that. Okay, the dogs like it. Okay, get ready, because this song, get those arms out and shake them. Get ready to howl. You ain't got a mother hound dog. You know the tongue. I don't look enough like Elvis. I need some Elvis glasses. That's what I need. Okay, I'll get out some Elvis glasses. This will look way cooler. Okay, here we go. Elvis cool glasses. <laughs> I need an Elvis wig. That's what I need. I need an Elvis wig. You wanna, should I try the Elvis wig on? Okay, it'll look more like Elvis. Okay, I'll put on the glasses and get out the Elvis wig. Let me see, okay, okay. That looks more like Elvis, doesn't it? Okay, are you ready? Get ready to howl. You ain't no more to howl. No. Elvis had a white
white jumpsuit. Oh yeah, he looks so cool with the white jumpsuit. Let me get out that white jumpsuit and see if it looks cooler. See if you think you, see if you think it looks a little more like Elvis, because he wore a white jumpsuit. Yeah, I know. Here's a white jumpsuit. It's gonna look way cool. Okay, let me see. Let me see. White white jumpsuit. Oh, around backwards. Uh... There we go. Does that look better? Okay. You want to wear it? You want to wear it? No, the dog doesn't want to wear it either. They like the Elvis wig though. But oh, no, we won't wear the white jumpsuit. We'll put on. Did you guys ready? Get ready to howl. You ain't no the boy. Howl, dog. Ow! You know the time. You ain't no the boy. Howl, dog. Ow! You know the time. You ain't a devil called a rabbit. You ain't no friend of mine. Give yourselves a round of applause for good, good singing and howling. Okay, now, ladies and gentlemen, there's something in rock and roll called rhythm. And what do you think rhythm makes you want to do? Any ideas? What do you think? Makes you want to dance, right? Okay, everyone stand up because I'm going to do a song. I'm going to teach you how to do a real cool dance. Okay. Raise your hand if you took a bath or a shower this month. Raise your hand. If you didn't take a bath or a shower this month, please don't raise your hand. But wait a minute. Pretend you just got out of the bath or shower and you're taking a towel and drying your back like me. Okay, just like that. Okay? Just dry it like that. Okay. Now pretend you're trying to prevent a wildfire or a forest fire, as we used to say when we were kids by crushing out an early cigar with your foot. You're taking your foot and twisting it. You're twisting your foot. Okay, twist both feet at the same time while you dry your lower back like this. Not your upper back like this, but your lower back like this. That's called the twist. So try it. Here's where you go like that. Just like that, okay? Okay, everyone dry your lower back like me. Just like that. Okay, there you go. It's called a twist. Yeah, come on, big. Wait a minute. I bet you can get your mom to show you how to do the twist, or a librarian, or someone in the library staff. Uh, yeah, the library staff, or maybe a grandma. I bet you can get them to learn how to teach you how to do the twist. Come on, grandma. Come on, mom. Come on, librarian. Come on out here and dry that lower back like this, and put out those cigarettes with your toes. There you go, and do the twist with me, okay? Come on, don't, don't stop now. Come on, baby. Let's do the twist. Come on, baby. Let's do the twist. You know how to rock. And you know how to twist. Come on, baby. Let's do the twist. dance. Yeah. Raise your hand if you ever heard of a freeze dance. Oh, you guys heard about it? Okay. Now, if you don't know what a freeze dance is, you get up, you stand up, and I play some rock and roll, and you guys dance like wild people. And as soon as I stop, wherever you're at, you stop in that position and wait till the music starts again. And then you start dancing like a maniac all over again. And as soon as I stop, you freeze in that position. That's why it's called a freeze dance. Okay? So whatever you're doing, you stop and freeze. And then you start again, you dance like wild people. But you want to try it? Okay, everybody stand up. 
Okay, get ready to do some dancing. Get crazy, you ready? one more song because I have another another library to play for in December no I'm just kidding so I I'll do one more song but I want to get you back in the mood for reading and school and all that fun stuff that you missed at the end of the year so this last song is gonna be a spelling lesson you know, you don't sound excited. Wait a minute. How about if you guys do some spelling? Do some spelling and yelling. Okay, everyone take your arms, make the letter Y, and yell Y, and make the letter M, and yell M. Make the letter C, and yell C. Yeah, you got it. And then make the letter, uh, Oh, A, and yell A. Okay, let's try to spell them together. Ready? Y, M, C, A. Okay, spell it faster and louder. Ready? Y, M, C, A. Okay, even louder and faster. Ready? Y, M, C, A. Okay, even louder and faster. Y, M, C, A. Okay, you ready to do some spelling and yelling? But first, I need everyone to stand up. Yep, come on, you too. Yeah, 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 you too. Come on, moms and librarians, come on, stand up. Because we're gonna do a little bit of marching. Ready, march. And then we'll do some yelling and spelling, you ready? It's my last song, so come on and help me out, everybody. Young man, there's no need to be down. I said, young no, man, pick yourself off the ground. I said, young no, man. Stay at the YMCA. It's fun to stay at the YMCA. 
gentlemen. I'm Jeff Runner. Thanks for being here. Hope you had a great time. Have a great rest of your summer. And have a great fall back in school. I hope we go back. Everyone have a great summer. Thanks again to the library. Librarians, moms and dads. My name is Jeff Runner. Bye-bye, everyone.